All right, and welcome to another episode of Raul's World of Sense. I am Raul. This time we're going to be looking at the Doug CL patch that you heard there in the intro. Uh, saw me doing a little noodling there with the finish patch. Uh, we're going to be looking at how you can go in and create this patch, talk a little bit about where it came from, how it was derived, um, and what actually it's going to do for you. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump right in. Uh, this particular patch um, is by uh, a gentleman out there on the forums known as Doug CL, and uh, came across a video a few years ago, uh, maybe a few more than a few years ago. Uh, titled PLL Arabesque. So there's a video out there if you want to see it. Um, take a look. Um, and it's really awesome. Uh, it's got amazing tones and melodies in it. Um, and it utilizes the A196. It's one of the things that got me a little bit mystified by the modular world. Um, and uh, we're going to be looking at uh, some parts of the patch that... Uh, that Doug CL came up with and uh, talk a little bit about it and kind of show you how to make it. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll start with the patching here because as you saw, there are a lot of connections that we're going to have to make. Um, let's start with a couple of the basic things and uh, let's go in and let's start. Where to start? We're going to be getting CV uh, pitch from here. And then this pitch is going to be going into, in his patch, it's actually listed as a mixer, but I'm going to actually be using a linear VCA, uh, which is actually intended more for uh, control voltage sources, and that's what we're going to be mixing here in a second. So I'm taking a pitch that's going to be coming from here a little bit later from a sequencer via MIDI in, and I'm just going to go right into audio in one. There we go. And uh, the second thing that's going to be coming into audio in over here of our linear VCA is going to be a second signal. So let me patch the audio in two, and then I'll get the other one set up. That's going to be coming from our slew limiter right there. So slew limiter out over to audio in number two. I'm working backwards here. So I'm taking the input over here, and I'm just going to route this over to the low-pass output of our phase lock loop down here at the bottom. There we go. Might seem a little strange, but you'll get, you'll get the idea here in a moment. Okay, so we got that patched. And uh, then we're going to take the output from our mixer here or our linear VCA, I should say. We've got linear VCA. We're going to take that out up into our dual quantizer. And then we're going to take the CV out from the dual quantizer. And that is actually going to be patched into our um, CV in of our oscillator and triggering the pitch. From that point, it starts getting a little bit simpler, I suppose. So we're going to be taking the square out from our VCO and then taking it into our signal in of our phase lock loop. There we go. And then I need a special cable here, actually using one stack cable. And that's the one with the little jack at the back of it so I can so it'll act like a malt. And I'm taking the square out. There we go. And so I have one copy of my square out right here, which I'm going to do something with. And then I have another copy via my red cable. One of them is going to go straight over into my low pass filter. And then the other one is going to go right up into my ring mod right there. So the other waveform that's coming from our VCO is going to go out the sign over into the YN of our ring mod. And then we're going to be taking the XY out from here and then going over right over here into input of our mixer. And we should 
actually hear some signal right now. So that's one piece of the puzzle right there. The other piece is going to be coming from our low pass filter over here. There we go. And then going right there. So that's our two signals married together right now. Doesn't sound too interesting, but we don't have any pitches kind of moving around yet. So let's, uh, let me get my sequencer ready out here. Just bear with me. And then I'll hit play. There we go. So off goes my sequencer. You can see over here at the A190, hopefully you can see if I move the MIDI cable that notes are coming in via the MIDI cable. And then CV cable here is going over into linear VCA right there. And then audio in number two of that is actually coming out from here. Input is actually all the way over here from the low pass of the phase lock loop. So, we're actually mixing, that's the first part of the patch, is we're actually mixing two control voltage signals together, and then that sum is coming out from here and going up into our dual quantizer and then being quantized into notes that are going into our VCO. So at this point, you can actually kind of do a lot of really subtle adjustments and make really big changes. Um, now, on the, in the description of the patch, which you can find out there, um, it talks about little places you can kind of tweak this patch are going to be at the mix levels of your control voltages. Uh, you can adjust the slew limiter time, and then you can also adjust any of the settings over here in the A196, and we're going to get some pretty exciting uh, results. So let's start with the slew limiter and uh, just adjust that a little bit. There we go. Let's bring that down a little bit. Bring it up. Maybe if I bring up the level coming up from my slew limiter, which is right there, I bring down my pitch. So right there, I've increased the level of the signal coming from the slew limiter and decreased the level coming from my regular control voltage signal coming from my sequencer. So I have more of that. I can bring it down even further. Right there, we're getting a very strange kind of even almost uh, percussive effect. Not exactly like the PLL arabesque patch, it's more musical. Uh, in the arabesque version, but and right about there, it's a little more musical, kind of like a melody. Okay, so we did a little adjusting on the slew limiter, and we're basically, when we adjust this, we're actually just adjusting what's coming out of the PLL phase lock loop over here. So you can see that. And if I bring this down, let's see what kind of effect that gives us. Brought that down just a tad. Actually sounds a little more straight to me. So just the slew limiter a little bit. Nice little tones in the middle. Okay, cool. So that's the slew limiter adjustments, and then also a little low pass adjusting, although we haven't gotten to the really exciting stuff yet. So I'm going to skip quantizer because there aren't really that many adjustments you can do in the quantizer uh, minus changing the scale. It's basically right now turning whatever's going into it from our linear VCA into notes. Um, so right now it's all minor uh, notes it's making, but I could switch over to major if I wanted to. And then all of a sudden we have a major melody. I'm going to keep it in minor just because I like that one. And then let's just kind of move along. 